algebra revision prep one two and one over five times what equals one number one first change two and one over five into fraction times plus two times five ten plus one equals eleven eleven over five times what equals one times its multiplicative inverse times five over eleven number two we learn the order of the median of set of values is 14. The median is 14. It means we got 13 values before this median and 13 values after this median. So the sum of the two values is 26 plus the median. Then the number of values will be 27 values. Number three, 0 0.18 minus 30 percent Let's change 30 percent into fraction it will be 3 over 10 and change 0 0.18 into fraction also it will be 18 over 100 common denominator or change the two numbers into decimal so it will be 0 0.18 minus 0 0.3 which equals negative 0.12 7 x power 3 y power 2 times what equals 21 x power 3 y power 5 to get the missing number we must make division 21 x power 3 y power 5 divided by 7 x power 3 y power 2 21 divided 7 equals 3 x power 3 divided by x power 3 equals 1. y power 5 divided by y power 2 equals y power 3. Number 5. 2x minus 3 times x plus 5 equals. We got the first term, which is 2x power 2, and we got the last term, which is negative 15. So we need to get the middle term. The middle term will be the sum of the product of means and extremes. Negative 3 times x equals negative 3x. 2x times 5 equals 10x. Sum will be 7x. Choose the correct answer. The mode of the values 7, 5, x plus 4, 5, 7 is 5. The mode is 5, it means the most repeated value will be 5. It means in x plus 4 must equal 5. Then x will be 1. Your first choice is 1. The arithmetic mean of the values 1, 6, 4, 8, and 6. The number of values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got five values. The mean, equal. Sum of values over number of values. So the sum of the values would be 1 plus 6 plus 4 plus 8 plus 6 over a number of values 1 2 3 4 5 values it will be 25 over 5 which equals 5 number 5 if 2 over 5 x equals 10 so x will be 10 divided by 2 over 5. So x will be 25. x equals 25. Then 3 over 5 x equals 3 over 5 times 25, which equals 15. So the answer will be 15. Number 6, 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 repeated decimal. 
0.3 repeated decimal changed by the calculator it will be 1 over 3 plus 0.7 is 7 over 10 common denominator 10 times 3 30 3 times 7 21 plus 10 times 1 equals 10 so the answer will be 31 over 30 which equals 1 and 1 over 30 which is this answer subtract 5x plus y power 2 minus 3xy plus 1 from 6x power 2 minus 2xy plus 3y power 2 subtract from after from get the first expression 6x power 2 minus 2xy plus 3y power 2 second expression we must change all the signs of each term in this expression so it will be negative 5x power 2 minus y power 2 plus 3xy minus 1 collect the common term or like term sorry 6x power 2 minus 5x power 2 6 minus 5 equals 1 the x power 2 3y power 2 minus y power 2 then it is 2y power 2 negative 2xy plus 3xy equals xy then the last term will be negative 1 the number a number b use the distributive property 27 over 16 times 11 over 7 plus 27 over 16 times 11 over 7 minus 27 over 16 times 6 over 7 27 over 16 is the repeated number 27 over 16 common factor between them is 27 over 16 so take 27 over 16 times 11 over 7 plus 11 over 7 minus 6 over 7 get the value of the bracket it will be 27 over 16 times 16 over 7 cross 16 over 16 so the answer it will be 27 over 7 simplify in the simplest form then find the numerical value of the result if x equals negative 1 first of all let's do the multiplication 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3 special case the two brackets are the same one of them is minus and the other is plus so the result will be two terms which are the first times the first minus second times the second 2x times 2x equal 4x power 2 minus 3 times 3 negative 9 so it will be the answer 4x power 2 minus 9 plus 7 so the answer it will be 4x power 2 minus we need to get the numerical value when x equals negative 1. So 4 times negative 1 power 2 minus 2. Negative 1 power 2, the power is even, cross the negative sign, so it will be 1. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 minus 2, so the answer it will be 2. We need to find three rational numbers lying between 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. First of all, we must change a different denominator into common denominator. 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 multiply 2 and 3. So it will be 6, the denominator, new denominator will be 6. 3 times 1, it will be 3. 2 times 1 equals 2. Three rational numbers between 3 over 6 and 2 over 6, we must put 0 and 0, 0 and 0. So it will be 20 over 60 and 30 over 60. 21 over 60, 
22 over 60, 23 over 60, so on. Divide 2x power 3 plus 3x power 2 minus 4x minus 6 by 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3 is a term or expression. It's expression. So we must do long division. Long division, a dividend inside 2x power 3 plus 3x power 2 minus 4x minus 6. Divide by 2x plus, plus 3. First of all, first term divided first term. 2x power 3 divided by 2x equals x power 2. Then times, distribute this term on this expression. 2x times x power 2 equals 2x power 3. x power 2 times 3 plus 3 x power 2. Subtract. Change the sign of each term. Sum will be 0. Drop negative 4x minus 6. Then do the steps again. First term divides first term. Negative 4x divided by 2x equals negative 2. Negative 2 times 2x equals negative 4x. Negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6. Change signs. Sum will be 0. So the quotient will be x power 2 minus 2. Well, the following table shows Gahed's marks in mathematics in six months. October, November, December, February, March, and April. Find the arithmetic mean. The mean equals the sum of values over a number of values. Six months, the number of values, six months. So the mean will be 30 plus 35 plus 42 plus 37 plus 44 plus 50 over 6, which equals 238 over 6, which equals 119 over 3. Thank you.